What's going on, everyone? Happy Thursday to everyone. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. If you had to take a COVID test, hopefully, you have tested negative. If you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery with no long-term issues. It is time now for the Thursday edition of the Pandemic Update for Thursday, January 4th, 2024. Starting off today with several things. First off, if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. This is where we do the daily pandemic update. So subscribe down below if you want to uh, learn how you can help keep yourself safe or just learn about what viruses are circulating out there because there are a lot of viruses going around at this time. So hit that like button and subscribe to my channel down below. Second of all, we have to talk about this. If you recall, I've been sick for the past couple days. Today, I'm about 95 to 99 percent better. However, I did take a COVID test this morning, and as you can see here, and here's that exact COVID test. For, I shouldn't say this morning. It's about midday this afternoon. I did test negative. However, you will note something in the tweet, and you will note something when you see me on the camera here. I still have a mask on my face. There is a reason for that. Though I am getting better now, my dad now has developed some sort of an illness as well. He actually went to bed around 1.30, so he hasn't taken a COVID test yet. I hope he will be taking a COVID test tomorrow morning. I'm going to try and make him take one. So because of that, I am masking as well. It seems as if his biggest symptom right now is just he is really tired, achy, chills, does have a fever, so we'll see what this develops into. If you recall, back in September, he did have COVID. As we all know, COVID can weaken the immune system, and any virus you pick up can be, you know, a little more significant than it would be if you never had COVID. Also worth noting, he never did have a flu vaccine, so flu is at play as well. I had my flu vaccine, and I've had the Novavax booster, but as we know, even with flu vaccines, there can still be breakthrough cases. They're very rare with flu, but they can still happen. It's a much more common thing with COVID, as we all know, as we all learned in the summer of 2021, breakthrough uh, COVID cases. It seems it just seems to be the normal these days. Alrighty, moving on now. Taking a look at this, we have uh, three things to talk about from a round different countries in the world. Starting off with Spain. In Spain, flu and COVID-19 are um, saturating the hospitals. I mean, it is really swamping the hospitals. The emergency department at this one hospital has had an average of 560 visits a day in the month of December. Moving on to this now. 3,910 deaths in Australia from COVID in 2023 as new cases surge in NSW. COVID cases are on the rise in NSW and the true toll of the virus this year has been revealed with almost 4,000 Australians dying from 2023. And if I had to guess, because the number is likely to undercount, it's probably right near that 4,000 number. It's probably higher than this 3,910 number. And now we have to go to Italy. Italian hospitals collapse over 1,100 patients waiting to be admitted in Rome. So in other words, there's no beds available. They have patients that need to be admitted, and they're just sitting there. You know, remember the old pictures of people sitting in the hallway on hospital beds? Yep, it's back to that once again. And I have seen posts that hospitals are starting to fill up in many places. The good news is here in the United States, on or about the 10th should be where we peak. Uh, of course, it's going to be a state-by-state -state thing. Some states may peak earlier, some may peak later, but on or about the 10th, on the national level here in the United States, things should start to peak. Taking a look at air quality values, not bad at all in the east today. Uh, just a little bit of moderate in the central states and just a little bit of moderate down in florida you can see in the east there are some of these red sites that's normal some of these sites are just constantly high readings for whatever reason maybe because there's a factory or something near the site that causes that to be the case california there are some red sites as there are up in washington state and remember it is fireplace season all right let's take a look at a few of those wastewater sites now starting off with Vermont. Let's see what's going on in Burlington, Vermont. And we can see in Burlington, Vermont, COVID is rising. RSV is high, but it is showing signs of possibly peaking as it is starting to drop. Influenza is dropping at this time. 
Uh, HMPV is high, norovirus is high and rapidly rising at this time. Not good to see that, and there's no detections of MPOX. Alright, let's do a few more regions. We want to come down to Florida, then we're going to go out to the west coast, then we are going to go to the Great Lakes. Bear with me here, we do need to refresh this. The wastewater scan site, for whatever reason, does tend to freeze up. So let's go down to Miami, Florida, and see what's going on there. We'll go to the central Miami district, and we can see here, whoa. Yeah, Biscayne, Florida. Look at this. 829,000 population, and COVID at this time is rapidly rising. RSV, it is there present at this time. It's showing signs of maybe it's going to start to drop a little bit. Influenza, it's there. And HMPV has dropped. Norovirus, it's there, and it's actually stable for norovirus at this time. Maybe rising ever so slightly. And MPOX, there was a detection of MPOX back in October of last year, and there have been some detections of hepatitis. Now let's go out to California and see what's going on there. And how about today we go just northwest of Fresno, California. And how about Madera? We haven't looked at this wastewater site in a while. Have we ever shown this wastewater site? I don't know. Taking a look here, uh, COVID is dropping at this time. RSV remains high levels. And then we come down here to, let's see, norovirus. Look at that. Norovirus is dropping fairly steadily at this time and no detections of MPOX. Now let's go over to Michigan and see what's going on there. We have not taken a look at Michigan in a while. And let's see if we can't get close to Detroit. All right, we can do Warren, Michigan. And in Warren, Michigan at this time, we can see COVID. Unfortunately, it is rapidly rising. RSV at this time. And it's starting to rise again. There's, there's detections here that it is rising again. And hepatitis A, no recent detections. You have to go back to November to find a detection of that. And no detections of MPOX at this time. Walgreens positivity rate this week is 27.5%. Taking a look at CDC data here, we can see COVID is growing in this darker purple shade where it is growing in uh, several states and it's likely growing in many states, stable in the vast majority. And then there's only two states that are likely to decline. That's Iowa and Oregon. And remember, this is lag CDC data. We'll have a better look at the data tomorrow. Taking a look at flu status here, it's growing in almost every state. Likely growing in Maine, Connecticut, New York, and in Colorado at this time. And it's only stable or uncertain in just Wyoming at this time. All right, taking a look here at the latest variant, JN.1 at 44.2% does lead the way. And here's the thing about that. It will update tomorrow, so I suspect tomorrow we may find that it's over 50%. Taking a look at the latest COVID hospital admissions over the past week, 29,059. And again, this will update tomorrow, and I expect it'll probably go over 30,000. Taking a look at the latest uh, EMS calls from yesterday in Philadelphia, 831 EMS incidents were reported. Let's do a live look in at the suburbs right now, and wow, 22 calls at, it's almost 7 p.m. We're really late with our update today, and take a look at this. Yeah, there's just a lot of calls going on right now in Montgomery County, and Chester County does not look to be as busy as Montgomery County, but again, that was not good to see, and ooh, I see a real bad call in Chester County shooting. That's never a good thing to see, and now moving on, let's take a look at New Jersey and see what's going on there. Let's refresh this to make sure it is up to date, and I believe I did have it up to date, but let's see what's going on in New Jersey. 1,340 hospitalizations. That is with 69 out of 70 hospitals reporting, and believe it or not, that number is down ever so slightly. So maybe the possibility that they're starting to trend towards a peak? We'll have to see. That would be a really good thing if New Jersey started to peak soon. On a ventilator, 37 people on a ventilator, and in the ICU, 100 and 43. All right, let's take a look at New York State. 3,627 new cases. Taking a look at New York State hospitalizations, and I have to zoom this in because, well, it already refreshed on us anyhow. And in New York State, hospitalizations are actually down ever so slightly from yesterday. This is a good thing. 
3,393 people in the hospital. And when we take a look at hospital admissions, you can see here the overall trend for admissions right now, 676 today versus last week at this time, which was 605. So admissions are still going up. I suspect it's going to be a, probably another week before we see a complete peak in New York State, but we'll see. Hopefully, uh, maybe it'll happen sooner. We shall see. All right, Texas. Cases actually dropped this week, but don't let that fool you. 15,300 cases this week versus 16,906. That's down by 1,606. But because I just said don't let that fool you, here you go, right here. Hospitalized up by 238. So it's 1,745 people in the hospital versus 1,507. So, yes, that number did rise. A uh, number of deaths, this is a good thing, that actually dropped. Seven, down by seven. 40 versus 47, which again, that is down by seven. Chicago this week. Hospitalizations in Chicago are now up to 34. Hospital beds in use are up 4%. Emergency department visits up 2.6%. And deaths, they have now started to rise. Current daily average is one and a half deaths. The number of people getting a vaccine is down. Laboratory confirmed cases is also down as well. Taking a look at Colorado, and we see in Colorado that the number of people hospitalized for COVID is now up to 213. Taking a look now at what is going on in the state of Washington, we can see COVID. 14% of emergency department uh, visits changed from last week, and we can see influenza was actually down a little bit. So while COVID went up 14%, influenza went down 7% for the visits. However, percent of hospital admissions for COVID is at 13%, and influenza is at 6%. RSD actually dropped by 17%, and the number of people in the ICU for COVID in Washington is at 37 versus 11 for influenza, and they do not collect that data on RSV. Now let's take a look at Massachusetts. Influenza severity is high at this point. That is not good to see. And who knows, that could go up to very high soon. Moderate for COVID and medium for hospital COVID admissions. 17.8% of all emergency department visits are now for some sort of a respiratory virus in Massachusetts. So that is not good. Finally today, taking a look at LA, and in LA we do see hospitalizations for COVID just continue to rise at this point. They are fast approaching 800. They likely will go over 800. And the rest of this data does appear to be lagged. Look how the cases dropped significantly over Christmas week. And there even was just a slight drop in uh, testing positivity. So yes, the, though the cases dropped, the positivity also dropped, but it is starting to rise once again. Wastewater is continuing to rise in Los Angeles, and emergency department visits, they're relatively flat at this time. Alrighty folks, that does it for today's pandemic update. I promise in the near future the sound quality is going to get better. I'm not talking as loud as I normally would, plus I'm still in the masking business. Don't know how long this is going to have to go on, but we'll see what happens. Keep your fingers crossed that this go around there is not COVID or flu in the household. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel down below. If you know anyone that needs to see this content, by all means, share this with them. I will see you all again next time. Until I see you again next time, stay safe, everyone, and just, yeah, just try and stay as safe as you possibly can. Take it easy. Thanks for watching.